Cognitive Behavioral Therapy for Anxiety Disorders. Part A. What is worry? Worry is a chain of thoughts and images, negatively affect-laden and relatively uncontrollable, it represents an attempt to engage in mental problem-solving on an issue whose outcome is uncertain, but contains the possibility of one or more negative outcomes, consequently, worry relates closely to the fear process. What is worry? Worry about things where the outcome is uncertain. Kicked off by what if or equivalent. A strategic process that aims to help deal with uncertainty. A method of solving problems and planning ahead. A mental behavior rather than a feeling state. A chain of thoughts and images experienced as a stream of doubts. Thoughts and images feel very real. Problematic when difficult to interrupt or end. Rarely shared. Worry means living in an imagined future. The loss of here and now. What is the threat? The world is potentially dangerous and I may not be able to cope with whatever comes from the future, so I must anticipate all bad things that might happen so that I can avoid them or prepare for them. Helpful assessment questions. What is the nature, frequency and intensity of the worry? Rate the strength of the stressful situation. How does the patient describe an episode of their worry? Can they give you a typical example? Have you always been a worrier? Once it starts, is your worry hard to stop? If there is nothing to worry about, do you still find yourself worrying? Do minor everyday things spiral into major concerns? Does worry stop you enjoying your life? If you were not worrying about X, would you worry about something else? Exercise 1. What have you worried about this week? Choose one thing you have been worrying about. What was it about the situation that led you into worry? Can you spot what triggered your worry? Talk about your experience of worry, describe the content and the process. Be curious about the phenomenology. What is the immediate emotional consequence of worry? What might be the longer-term emotional consequence of it? How does it impact on your behavior? How did your worry impact on the thing you were worried about? Intolerance of uncertainty can be understood as negative emotional, cognitive and behavioral reactions to uncertain situations and events. People with intolerance of uncertainty find it upsetting and stressful to be in uncertain situations. They think it is something to be avoided, and have difficulty functioning in those situations. Intolerance of uncertainty is not unique to general anxiety disorder. Research has shown that clients with general anxiety disorder have higher levels of intolerance of uncertainty compared to people in the general population, and also compared to people with other types of anxiety disorders. One way to manage uncertainty is to consider as many possible negative outcomes as possible. Explore disadvantages. Increased number of hypothetical scenarios, increases the uncertainty, keeps attention on potentially worrying hypothetical events. Positive beliefs about worry are important to identify and understand. Allows you to explore them. What would life be like if you never worried again? Irrational beliefs about worry. It shows I care. If I do not worry I must be a bad parent. Prepares me to cope. Solves problems. Motivates me. It shows that I am serious or organized. If I worry about the worst it will not happen. If I do not worry I will miss something important. Two types of worry. Real event worry. Hypothetical event worry. Real event worry. Negative problem orientation. People with general anxiety disorder have good problem-solving skills. However research has shown they have negative problem orientation. Beliefs about the nature of problems for instance, problems are threatening or unfair. They doubt their ability to solve problems. Strong pessimism about outcomes. 
Hypothetical event worry. Research has shown that high worry is related to cognitive avoidance. Suppressing worrying thoughts. Substituting neutral or positive thoughts for worries. Using distraction as a way to interrupt worrying. Avoiding situations that can lead to worrisome thinking. General treatment aims to demonstrate the problem is not the object of worries, but the propensity to worry. This shift is captured by the following. My problem is that there are lots of things in my life that make me worry, too. My problem is that I worry a lot about the things in my life. The problem is the worry. To be able to shuttle between the process of worry and its content. Treatment of general anxiety disorder. Laval model. Outlined in CBT for worry and generalized anxiety disorder. Wilkinson, Mears and Freeston. Assessment and development of formulation. Worry awareness training. Recognizing and overcoming intolerance of uncertainty. Recognizing and overcoming positive beliefs about worry. Dealing with real event worry. Dealing with hypothetical event worry. Relapse prevention. Treatment. Dealing with real event worry. Review the problem orientation. What do they do when faced with a problem? Do they avoid or delay problem solving? Try not to think about it. Ask others to solve the problem. Impulsive problem solving. Trying to solve everything at once. Approach avoidance. Negatively prejudicing the outcome. Over-analyzing. Exercise, testing appraisals of worry. Identify a worry of your own or other. What kind of judgment or appraisal of this worry and the related feeling might this provoke? What behavior, overt or mental, might derive from this appraisal? Consider a way of changing the behavior so that the judgment is tested. End of part A please proceed to part B in materials section.